to here. This shows we're connected. We raise it and lower it just a little bit. We're going into our 3D mapping. We'll be starting maybe an eighth of an inch. I'll go ahead and zero that just to make sure we're starting at exactly zero. Has to look at the floor just a little bit. Take our first reading with a comment. Now you can see the zero in green is our height that is recorded. The yellow line is going to be our distance between points. We'll come over here. I'm going to record another comment, so I'll hit the comment section. And I'm going to take a photograph with this one as well. We'll come into the far place now. Give it just a little time to settle out. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take a comment with this. I'm just going to take a photograph with it. Now we're going right by the French doors in the corner. Now I'm going to come around. You can see I'm backing up to go around this table. You can do that. It keeps up with where you are, so you can go in and out of rooms or whatever you want to do. And it knows where you're going. It's better than Santa Claus. Come over to the transition. Now we're we're changing from hardwood to tile here, but this is basically, it, it looks like it's exactly the same height. Usually there'll be an increase. Do have a slight increase in the height of the floor. Now I'm gonna take another one right in front of the sink. And then we'll take one at the start of the hallway. Where we're leaving the tile again. And I'm going to close this up. Now that has created our perimeter. I'm going to drop a couple of points in the center. We don't really need these points. No larger than this is. We're not going to have much deflection and it doesn't look like anything is bowing. But just to make sure let it settle out for just a second. And like I say, it always keeps up with where you are. Oh, that wasn't right. Oh, I know what, my assistant stepped on the tubing. <laughs> we'll have to let that one settle back down a little bit. That's gonna be a bogey. Now, what we can do, if you make a mistake like that, you can see that minus four and nine sixteenths doesn't belong in there. And you are gonna make mistakes. Uh, you can always, once this goes into the Excel, you can always change that and take that out later. That eighth inch is much closer to where it actually should be. Uh, there will be ways that we can manipulate this data later in the program if we need to. Uh, I haven't run across too many times when we actually need to make too many manipulations in the program yet. Once you get into Excel and they send it to yourself, you can always tweak it and adjust it. And there you can see our plot. I'm going to save this. This would be and once you save it, of course you can see it. You can email it anywhere you want to go in the world with it. And there's the uh, photographs that we took along with the measurements. And I'll pull this up on a CAD and generate a CAD image of it also. And that's about that.